For the second time this week, we avoid a major snowstorm as we'll stay in the warm sector of the incoming storm system. If you know anybody off to our north, however, they're dealing with several more inches of snow and even blizzard conditions in some spots of Minnesota as well as South Dakota and Nebraska. We will be looking at rain showers and possibly a little thunder as we go into tomorrow. That weather system working its way out of Denver, but already seeing influence as well out ahead of that. We have a lot of rain heading towards us as of right now. Uh, could see some decent showers overnight uh, before on and off light rainfall throughout much of the day tomorrow. Again, though, we avoid freezing rain, sleet and snow like some sections of Iowa, Minnesota and Wisconsin will be seeing uh, tonight through tomorrow. Zooming in closer to our area, uh, initial showers showing at least some signs of a rain snow mix. No accumulation expected with this, so we'll stay ice free tonight. But don't be surprised if you look out the window and see a couple snowflakes as these showers roll on in. We'll continue to have that trend through about midnight and then the conditions warm up enough where all of this rain shower activity takes over and will stay as rain throughout the overnight hours. It won't be a, con a continuous steady rainfall. You can see from time to time we'll get some breaks in the rain shower activity. But here we are at about 430 in the morning. Pockets of light rainfall are across the state line and we continue to see those on and off throughout a lot of the morning. Heading closer towards the afternoon, we'll start to see a few downpours pop up from time to time. Uh, One o'clock, a great example of this where for the most part we're seeing light rainfall, but there's these little pockets of quick downpours and thunderstorms that you're going to want to pay attention to. Make sure you have the 13 Weather Authority app so you can track that rain on the go right down to the street level. And then if you hear any kind of thunder, remember those rules from the spring and summer. Move indoors as quickly as possible and wait about 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder before going back outside. We'll have that on and off light rainfall. The slight threat for thunderstorms going throughout Saturday evening. You can see at 930 still seeing some heavier rainfall popping up briefly. And Saturday night we dry up for a while before rain and snow return on Sunday. So waves of light rainfall expected until Saturday night. A few downpours are possible. This won't be an all day thing, but from time to time you might get a brief heavier shower or a rumble of thunder. Some spots may see up to an inch of rainfall, so a decent amount of rain coming with this soggy weather system for the start of the weekend. Not the greatest timing for stroll on state, but if you bundle up and make sure you've got the rain jackets, should be okay. 30s to 20s with the wind chill thanks to southeast winds providing chilly wind chills throughout much of Saturday itself. Going into Sunday, we start out with some rain showers. May get a brief rain snow mix from time to time Sunday morning, but little accumulation. Heading into the afternoon, as you can see, Light snow showers take over. We'll get some slushy accumulations out of this, and the snow may come down in heavy amounts very briefly. Enough, though, that visibility will re be reduced, and we could see a little slush on the roads. That on and off snowfall wraps up as of Sunday night. So rain snow mix Sunday morning, then straight snow showers should see accumulation stay under an inch. However, those brief bursts of heavier snow could reduce visibility, make it hard to see on the roads, and could even put a little slush down. So drive with plenty of caution going into Sunday afternoon as that snow shower activity takes on over. We shouldn't have widespread slowdowns, but if you know anybody traveling back into the region for the holiday or or going back out again, you probably will see uh, at least some slushy conditions. Make sure they're aware of that. Next week, dry and a little cool. Temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. Kristen. All right, Alex, thanks. Still the heads.